America is fat, sick, and out of shape. The good news is healthy habits start at home. Are you ready for the home body challenge? We're looking for folks who have at least 10 pounds of body fat to lose. In this show, we'll help you renovate your body and create healthy habits at home. But we're starting with our house first. We're Joe and Sharon Arangio. We help our clients lose body fat, build muscle, and get healthy. Because healthy habits start at home, we've teamed up with experts to help out of shape homebodies transform their homes and renovate their lives. Do you have the guts to change your body and your life? <laughs> you look like you're going into, it's like an old army hat. As health and fitness coaches, we talk the talk. But Joe, we also need to walk the walk. We eat well, we stand pretty good shape. Yeah, but we've been so busy helping our clients that we've let our house go. Really, you think? Seriously, our neighbors weren't even sure if anybody lived at our house. Now who has time to pull weeds? When I get home, I want to hang out with you and the kids. We need help. Our house is in need of some upgrades. Well, today I'm meeting with my friend Brian Baker, whose company builds healthy homes that save money and protect the environment. Hopefully he can help us. There's an old coaching adage, you can only train as hard as you can recover. So my house, our deck, it's a fun place to hang out. I love spending time outside, but you get a splinter in your toe when you're walking barefoot on the wooden deck. Can't really have a fire on the deck, it's a fire hazard. So there are some things here, although we need to recover from our day and I always talk to our clients and our athletes about having a, a comfortable space at home. We really don't have that here. Well that's where design comes in. If you kind of take the things that you know and love on the inside, just bring it outside. Creating a zone where you can have some outdoor grilling space, outdoor kitchen even, that will help induce us to want to go outside and be in nature. They get outside with all the plants and all the, the birds that we hear listen to that. Those are kinds of things that for most people tend to help them relax and, and enjoy life a lot more. Nick reached out to me when he was nearly 400 pounds and in desperate need of a life change. His wife Monica has been really supportive of his decision to get healthy. I know he'll do well because he's got the right motivation. A beautiful wife and two young kids. I've been big since I was a kid, uh, as far back as I can remember. You know, I was probably 180 pounds in third grade. You know, my mom was a, a single parent growing up, and, and my brother and sister and I were, um, you know, left to fend for ourselves a lot for, you know, breakfast and certain meals. It was a healthy, happy life, but we never really learned the, the healthy eating habits that we needed to. My lowest point in terms of, you know, the weight and, and the feelings associated with it one of my employees desks we had one team of the month we took a team picture and you know when I saw the team picture on his desk I really couldn't believe that it was me and, and it was close to my heaviest probably at my heaviest at that point. He struggled with really putting himself first and now he's finally come to terms that it's important. Joe offers not just the coaching the training the nutrition but there's that rapport so it's having that support. Our kids love to play outside, especially under the beautiful pine trees in our backyard. They call it the enchanted forest. You know, it could be a fun space, but right now there's a lot of poison ivy, branches that could poke you right in the eyes. That would be great if we could clear out the dead branches and get the trees pruned. I'll get my Milwaukee Sawzall in there and just chainsaw some stuff. Thank you, honey. But I think we really need a professional. We're here with Joshua Malik from Joshua Tree. Josh is an arborist, which is another word for a what? Tree doctor. And why are we here today? Well, Joe, evaluating the site, you got some problems. You got some sick trees that need some attention. You got some healthy trees that also need some maintenance. What we're gonna try to do is improve the functionality 
and really create a space that's a little bit more fun for the family that's here. Hey Joe, one thing that these trees that are doing here is this is the north side of your home and you got these big evergreens that are really uh, not allowing any function of uh, sunlight through here, airflow through here, and you're really getting a large nasty green mold buildup on your, your side in here. Uh, removing the trees is going to increase that sunlight and airflow and hopefully reduce this in the future. When I moved from tropical Florida to snowy Pennsylvania, what did I make you promise me? Love me and... And keep you warm. Right. Are you saying that our heating and air conditioning is messed up? Are you serious? In the winter time, it's cold and snowy outside and Gia's room is hot like the Sahara Desert and Georgie's room is like the Arctic Circle. His room is a bit brisk. I think we're going to need an expert to help us here. I noticed the energy bills are more expensive. In the last couple of years, they've really gone up a lot. Um, is that being affected by the dryer lint flowing on it? No, absolutely. An older system that is not operating properly will cause you to have some higher energy costs. And a system like this is also, because it's a single stage system, you're gonna hear it kick on, kick off. So that may also affect your sleeping if it's close to your bedroom window. It is, it is loud. We moved the outdoor air conditioning unit to the north side of the home for a couple reasons. It won't take direct sun during the day and get as hot, but we also have no obstructions around the entire unit, increasing airflow and efficiencies, and we now have access for cleaning and service on all sides of the equipment. This furnace has a variable speed blower, recycling more air through your home more often. And this thing, that's the fancy air filter you're talking about. Any germs that make it through this huge filter are going to get zapped by that ultraviolet light. And we're also removing more humidity from the air, which is a breeding ground for mold, keeping your ducts cleaner and your air fresher. So Joe, as you'll see, we have replaced your old thermostat with the most advanced thermostat on the market right now. Because it's a Wi-Fi thermostat, it's, it knows your zip code and it can sense what the pollen levels are in your area. It can not only keep your home within a half a degree of the set point, but when those pollen levels are higher, it'll keep air moving throughout your home, which will filter more of the air on a regular basis and make the air you're breathing inside your home much better for you and your family. Our deck is just so beat up and splintered. We've just outgrown it. I'd like something bigger so we can relax and hang out together as a family. Ideally splinter free. But I don't want this to end up in a landfill. So we've got to find a new home for our deck. There's got to be somebody out there and your job is to find them. All right, babe, I'll get to work on it. and Find a new home for our old deck. We've got this deck. The deck's about 17 years old, about as old as the house. I don't want to just tear it down. I want you to check it out, tell me if it's in good shape or not. If it is, I'd like to power wash it and then disassemble it. We gotta take it down anyway. And then I wanna donate it to a family. Okay, sounds great idea. Today we're with Todd Garloff from Garloff Carpentry. Todd, what are we doing today? Joe, today we're going to disassemble this old deck and, and I would like to say surgically disassembling this deck because we're going to take each component of the older deck and we're going to disassemble, put it on a trailer, and another homeowner is going to haul it to their residence and reassemble this uh, product at their place. In a way to avoid dumping it in a landfill. That's correct. In some cases, we may take an older deck like this and just cut it up and haul it to a landfill. But in this case, we're recycling the material itself. And then the new deck is made from recycled materials. That's correct. The new product that we're putting on the home, it's not only gonna be a, a larger deck, but the, the material that we're using is recycled. It's reclaimed uh, plastic bags and wood that's made into a composite material for the decking. And then the framing is going to be a reclaimed or recycled steel product as well. So basically 99% of the product is going to be recycled materials. So repurpose, reuse, and recycle. That's correct.
Radon is the silent killer. It's a radioactive gas found everywhere. Problem is, you can't see it, smell it, or taste it. It's the second leading cause of lung cancer in the U.S., responsible for over 20,000 deaths per year. Good news, it's an easy fix. We recently took a radon test to see what the indoor air environment is like, and we have really high levels of radon. You're more than double of what the EPA recommends for their action level. So what are we gonna do to fix this? It's easy, all you gotta do is put a radon system in. Pretty simple, takes a couple hours, it's inexpensive. Once you got a radon system in, it's gonna represent the problem being solved. We test Nick's body fat weekly on measurement Mondays. Body fat percentage is a more important indicator of health than weight alone, mainly because your traditional bathroom scale doesn't differentiate between fat and lean tissue. Having excess body fat puts you at risk for many serious medical conditions, including heart disease, diabetes, and even certain forms of cancer. So I reached out to my buddy from InBody, a company that makes one of the best body fat scales around. He flew in from California with one of these scales, just to make sure I'm accurately measuring Nick's body fat. When I first joined uh, with Joe here, it was uh, I came in at 355 pounds, and today, thankfully, 290 pounds. Taking a look at this report card here, here's a snapshot. If we were to drop 64 pounds of fat mass, believe it or not, we're not talking weight, but actually fat mass, in theory, you would just be carrying more muscle than fat. Great. At the end of the day, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, percent of body fat wise, uh, it's at 33.9. Uh, the end goal would be to get you as close as we can to about 20%. So Nick is on the road to success. He is. I'm taking a shower the other night and you do that one thing that you do. You know, that one thing that makes the water freezing cold. You mean flush the toilet? Yeah, that thing. Don't you preach that ice baths are good for your muscles? I wasn't mentally prepared for an ice cold shower. Yes, I heard the high pitched screams. That was not nice. Maybe it's time to upgrade our water heater. Good idea. Good, Joe. How have you been, man? Good nice to see, to see you. Good to yeah. see you too. What do we got going on? Well, I need you to fix my hot water problem. My wife, Sharon, will take a shower, and then if I try to get in right after, there's no hot water left. You have a tank type right now, right? Yeah, it's an old, original hot water heater. Now what about your little ones, man? They're getting big now? They like to take baths or what? Yeah, they're five and, and almost three years old, and we fill up the big uh, tub, and sometimes that takes a little while. To, takes a little while? Yeah. yeah. The Aerosmith Vertex might be a good solution for you. It gives you unlimited minutes of shower and then unlimited back to back. It'll take seven minutes to fill up, so uh, you know you don't have to wait much, and they're very high energy efficient. In addition to giving you hot water, it's gonna save you money. Did you know that hunger is often thirst in disguise? And the most effective way to get hydrated is to drink clean water. In fact, if you want to lose body fat, drink one half ounce to one ounce of water per pound of body weight daily. To protect your health and the environment, simply filter your water and avoid water that's bottled in plastic. You see, bottled water generates a lot of waste. Something like 30 billion plastic water bottles end up in a landfill each year. In addition, Bottled water is not governed as well as municipal tap water. Worse yet, contaminants can leach from damaged or overheated plastic into the water, which may lead to health problems. So, we're installing a whole home water filtration system. Well, this is your drinking water system. This is an EcoWater EPS 1000 drinking water system. This is a microbiological filter. It's a big word, uh, but that just makes sure that your water is safe to drink when it comes upstairs. So this will not allow lead up through into your drinking water. And this is going to safeguard your water so that when you're drinking that water, you know it is good, safe drinking water. Our roof has 20 years of bunk on it. You know, it looks a little shabby. Other than appearance, it's never given us any trouble. I like funky music, but not a funky roof. So for now, let's get the grime off the roof and see if we can make it shine. Ken, how you doing? Hi, Joe. Good, Good to, to see you, you, sir. Good to see you, too. What are we doing today? Well, we've come out. We're going to take a look at the, the algae and the mold and mildew on the vinyl siding. We're going to take a look at the roof, make sure that there's no mold and mildew on the roof. Probably spray it down to make sure that it's clean. And then we're going to do some energy efficiency by putting window film on the home. 
So how do we avoid this window tint looking like a limo window tint? Film comes in a variety of different shades. The stronger or darker the film, the sooner you're gonna get your return on investment and the more energy savings you're actually going to experience because the darker the film is, the more glare and the more heat that it's gonna block. The more heat that it's gonna block, the less your AC unit's gonna kick on and off, which is also going to help extend the life of your air conditioning unit. And in the winter, it's gonna keep the heat in the house. In the winter, it keeps the heat in the house. It actually has a U factor to it. Anytime that you seal the pores of the glass, you're going to get insulation. So the best windows that you can honestly have would be a dual pane, clear piece of glass, IG unit, put window film on it. Because when you start paying for argon gas and low E coatings, they all serve their purpose. But you're gonna be somewhere upwards 22 to $32 a square foot for that. With window film, you can get away with somewhere around 12 to $16 a square foot. Joe, can I show you something? Joe, I remember you explaining that you might have water problems or water seepage into the basement. I think I might have found your problem. Joe, can I show you something, please? Whoa, this looks pretty bad. Yeah, you can see, Joe, I was talking about the water infiltration because we did not have the flashing behind the ledger board, and you can see how extensive the damage is. The rim joist is completely rotted away. Um, and it started getting into the eye joists of the home, which are the structural members that hold up the home itself. This is probably the worst I've seen, but it's really not that bad. The structural integrity of the floor joists are still intact. It's really basically the rim joist that's damaged. So all we would have to do is come in here, clean this up a little bit, and put a new rim joist in. Literally take us a short bit of time to take care of that and proceed with the project. He gets our clients strong and I get them lean. Like a lean, mean fighting machine. Lean, mean fighting machine. <laughs> Nick, you've been an athlete your whole life. You played football in college. You've done a lot of exercising. What's different this time around, specifically with the exercises you've been doing? Playing football and lifting for football, it was always about getting the weight up, lifting for power, throwing the weight around, making a lot of noise. Here, it's about form, it's about technique. You know, I notice a big difference when I focus on squeezing the muscle, like you said, squeeze the water out of a sponge. It, it almost feels like I exert more energy doing it that way. I get better form, better posture afterwards because, you know, I'm holding myself upright because of the focus on the, on the technique. The stars align. We found somebody who wants to rebuild our deck on their mountain getaway. You know, it's also great for the environment because it's one less thing in the landfill. The new owner and his family can enjoy the rebuilt deck for years to come. Now it's time to get to work on transforming our outdoor living space. Today we are leveling the ground underneath the composite deck. We're also going to roll down some weed barrier and then put gravel on top to keep the weed barrier down. The purpose of all this is to minimize uh, water running back into the house and also control weeds coming up underneath the deck. Thank goodness I've got my beautiful wife, Sharon, assisting. Also, my dad, Dr. Angio, he's helping out. I'm doing all the work. <laughs> he is doing all the work. What are the benefits of building beautiful outdoor living space like we're building here. We're gonna take out the warping. We're gonna take out the splintering that you get a lot with wood. We're gonna eliminate having to stain it, having to sand it, having to do any of that maintenance. We're gonna to go to ultra low maintenance here and we're gonna eliminate. So all you're doing when you get out here is enjoying your deck because we got these great looking deckings, great colors, great grains, beautiful looking. Well, why don't we put a substructure on it that's gonna make it last just as long as the decking. Let's also keep that decking. It looks really great. Let's keep it looking good. We're gonna keep this as flat and as nice looking as it is now, five, 10, 15 years from now, it's gonna look the same. We're not gonna have the warps. We're not gonna have the twists. This is gonna lay flat the whole time. So no more sanding, staining, resealing. No more maintenance on this thing. Yeah, we're gonna get into ultra low maintenance. You're gonna have a little soap and water, clean it up, little hose on it, and then you've got a 25 year fade and stain warranty on the Trex products. So to create this outdoor living space, we're using recycled materials. That's the great part about Trex, we are a recycled product. So we were taking all the plastic we could get and use it into our product. Thank you. 
We also take all the wood fibers. We can get those from miscellaneous cabinet manufacturers, all the fibers off of that. So it's all recycled, repurposed products that come into ours. Our steel framing is 25% recycled. And I run my hand along this, splinter free. Splinter free, you're not gonna ever get any of that. And we're not losing one tree to create this beautiful space. We haven't had to cut down one tree to make any of our products. My happiest moment is seeing Nick's family, see him for the first time. I, I just love seeing the joy in their faces. It's truly rewarding and why we do what we do. He's here, he's here. I felt so bad tearing down that old tree that Gia loved to climb. Me too, but it was dying and leaning towards the neighbor's house. And she climbed that thing every single day. Can we get another big tree to replace it? You know, I hope so because she'd have a lot of trouble climbing a little baby sapling. <laughs> so what's the benefit of big trees? Why these big guys right here? Well, the benefit of big trees are, number one, if you're looking for screening, the larger the tree, the larger the screening. Moving them with a tree spade like we do with a large ball is beneficial to the tree as far as taking as much root as you possibly can. Why do customers order big trees? Well, they want something mature, something that they don't have to wait for to grow to the, you know, it reaches a full size. They gain a lot of time if you got a two inch tree until it gets something this size, you have, you know, probably five to 10 years of growth there that you miss. So something like this is, is instant privacy. We're here starting this big project, trying to make the house healthier. What are some of the things we're gonna do regarding electric? I went in your garage and there was no GFIs, which is a ground fault interrupter. So if, you're, if there's water on the floor, you don't get shocked. It trips automatically right before you, you can even feel anything. For home safety, you don't need an attack dog. We're gonna add some landscape lighting in the front of the house with some spotlights, make it nice and bright. Joe loves campfires. Hey, I was a Boy Scout. There's something primal about a man and his fire. Would that be possible? A backyard fireplace? I can't imagine a better way to relax and unwind with the family on the weekends. So what step are we at? What, what have we just done here? Well, we just recently laid out a patio for this uh, project, which is really gonna include pavers and a fireplace. The steps are pretty simple. We looked at the elevations, we looked at the site, we have sort of evaluated where we need to go, and we started excavation. We've got a load of stone coming in another hour or so, so we'll have the sub base down and be ready to start laying a patio. Right One of the features is an outdoor fireplace. However, the fireplace is so big, it's 10,000 pounds, correct? Absolutely. You needed a really strong foundation. It seems like we're just pouring in the concrete and now it's already set. Well, I think the exciting thing uh, about the QMAX product really is the fact that uh, this has so, so much versatility. It sets quick, meets all the requirements for having a, a strong foundation. I mean, this fireplace, we want it to be here a long time. Now we've moved on to the fun part of the build. We're building the Rumblestone fireplace. Right now we've done the first four levels and we've got the insert set in here. And what we're gonna do is we'll continue to go layer by layer following the instructions that they gave us that are just step by step. So if you can follow a color-coded shape instructions, this is a project you can do. It's like Legos for adults. Exactly. Now one thing we are doing, each layer, we're putting some adhesive on here. We use the Quickrete uh, construction adhesive and just did layer by layer on this. Ready to just keep stacking up and going higher and higher and eventually we'll have it all covered and the flue will go in and we'll have this baby up a fire here in no time. Everyone's put a patio in their backyard at one point in time. Uh, how's that space being used? Is it something to get out of the sun or is it something to entertain? This has entertainment value. This has, uh, you know, a place to grow some, some plants that maybe you wouldn't grow out into the landscape. Um, it's got a little bit of a controlled environment, but it's got a playful environment. It's got a lot of, a lot of things can happen here. A lot of conversation is going to go here around the fire, and that's the beauty of this thing. It flows from the house. It's, you know, a lot of people talk about 
outdoor living spaces, truly what does that mean to them? It means that they can actually do the things they do indoors, outdoors, just maybe on a nice sunny day. And that's kind of cool because, you know, a lot of places it's, hey, we got filter light, we got a tree that gives us filter light in the afternoon. Um, that's not always possible for a lot of people. If we plant this thing properly, uh, have some nice color around it, uh, this can be extended. This is not just something you use in May and June, in July maybe. This is something that you use in, in early April and extend right into the fall, into November. So, you know, here in the Northeast, we got a lot of things going on and uh, I think you'll find this space really that kind of, that kind of place that the you know, family's gonna enjoy it. It's time for a progress check-in with Nick. I love how much support he's getting from his family and friends. You know, his biggest supporter is his wife, Monica. It really helps to have a supportive spouse. Team Orangio. Thanks Joe. for coming by. Thanks, yeah. You're looking pretty good. How you doing? I feel great. I'm, uh, I'm down I'm about halfway to my goal and just feeling great. So how have your habits evolved since you know, you really have gotten into this. I know you, you evolve a little bit every day. How are things evolving and changing yeah. as far as your habits are concerned? You know, I think one of the biggest things I've noticed is looking forward to the workout, right? I think that, you know, it's, it's changing the way I, I go to bed at night, making sure that, you know, I can get up and be, you know, ready for that workout. Even on the weekends where you and I don't meet, I seek something out to do, to be active, because there's an endorphin rush that I get from feeling good and, and exerting energy. And, and so I've been seeking things out to do, whether it's with the kids and going to the park or you know, getting out for a light jog, like just doing little things like that to keep me active when, when I'm not working out. In the past, I would stop at a convenience store and shovel down some food. Well, now I've got the meal prepped. I either eat it right before I get into the car or I make sure that it's something that I can eat on the go and, and make sure that I stay on course. So those habits are invaluable. Even from a financial perspective, I'm saving a ton of money just not spending $20 a day on fast food. There's quite a bit of stuff left over from the patio build. Let's keep this good reusable material out of the landfills and donate to our friends at Habitat for Humanity. I'll make the call. Emily, thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate it. We have all these great materials that we want to donate to Habitat for Humanity. How is this going to help the community? Well, Joe, thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate this. Um, donations is what keeps us going. So uh, what we do is we, um, as a Habitat Lehigh Valley Restore, support our local Habitat for Humanity affiliate. So we take these donations of reusable items. Uh, we bring them back to our Restore, where we sell them to the public at discounted prices. And then all the money that we make goes back to our local home building program in order to continue building homes for uh, our homeowners. Keeping everything out of the landfill, giving back to the community. Absolutely, that's exactly what we do. So we're keeping uh, reusable items that people could be using, uh, maybe purchasing that they wouldn't be able to afford otherwise, um, and then all the money is going back to our local home building program. Thank you for doing what you do. Absolutely, thank you so much, Joe. We appreciate it. Oh, that was hard. That like broke my nose. You know, in college, I did all the laundry for the university sports teams. Socks and jock straps. I wore rubber gloves. Gross. Poor sleep habits can set you up for chronic fatigue, mood and memory problems, a slow metabolism, even reduced immune system functioning. Burn more body fat with these simple sleep upgrades. Set your bedroom thermostat to 65 degrees Fahrenheit with 65% humidity. Add a whisper quiet, energy efficient ceiling fan to keep the room breezy. A latex and memory foam mattress conforms to your body, which could reduce backache. Choose breathable and moisture wicking sheets with natural bamboo fibers. Wash your sheets weekly in super hot water to kill sleep disrupting bed bugs, dust mites, and other allergens. I never thought I'd be so excited about a garage makeover. We've got a pretty tight two car garage. We can barely squeeze our cars inside. It's just a jumble pile of sports equipment and bikes that are hard to reach. I think I'm gonna leave this one up to the garage organization experts. Less mess equals less stress, which results in better eating, 
more consistent workouts, and more quality sleep. That's why I brought in my friend Aaron from Roche Painting to help clean up this shed of a garage. What are we going to accomplish today? We're gonna get rid of this clutter to actually give you a functioning space that you can call your garage instead of a storage shed. You know, every winter you bring your salt in here, puts pitting into this concrete. What we do is we give the ability to repair the floor with a decorative touch versus just jackhammering this concrete out and pouring new concrete in. As I mentioned previously, the epoxy, once it's cured, is four times stronger than actual concrete itself. I'm a big fan of that speckled mm -hmm. look on the gym floors. Yeah. Apparently we're gonna make that in here. What that's good too is, is that speckled pattern actually helps hide dirt. So versus having a solid color floor like it is right now, where every piece of dirt debris highlights, that speckle is gonna make that kind of blend away. So that way you don't always have to clean the floor uh, where, you know, things are gonna stand out. What did you find? I found a pretty butterfly. She landed on my finger. She loved me. Because I chased after her one time, and then she flew back to me because she just needed to say hi bye to her family. She's very pretty. I never... Don't do that, Georgie. And George found a little stick. It was wounded. My family's from the South, and you know that we show our love with good cooking. Well, my family's half Italian and half Irish. We show love the same way. And that's another reason why we make a good team. Our mutual love of food. So I'd like to teach our kids healthy eating by growing fruits and vegetables at our house. I agree. Hey, Joe, how, how are you? Doing? How you doing, man? Excellent, excellent, good to see you. Dwayne, talk about this concept of farming at home. A lot of excitement is around this whole concept of growing fresh produce at home, whether it's in the ground, or now with technology like this, we're able to grow it on our patio, our porch, you know, our deck, and even in our home. And what's exciting is that, you know, everybody wants fresh produce. Everybody wants fresh ingredients in their cooking, whether they're eating healthier, living healthier, uh, just trying to just incorporate you know, fresh produce is a hard thing to do today. And not only that, it's, it's expensive. And uh, what we find is that we can grow a lot of things on our patio and our porches now. Uh, a lot of greens, a lot of fresh uh, lettuces and stuff like that. Even cucumbers. I mean, most people think that cucumbers are, you know, something you have to get to the supermarket and grow them at home rather easily. Uh, we know about tomatoes and other things like that that a lot of people enjoy, you know, in the summer. But we can grow this, you know, on this type of technology, this vertical, farm will refer to or the tower garden which is exactly what this is a tower that is a garden and it's all put together in a very compact way that you know it's not going to take up a lot of space on your on your property so all those kind of good things make the tower garden really a good fit as a fitness coach I'm always looking for teachable moments and I see this tower garden as a great opportunity to teach my children yeah where food comes from I've done a lot of work in a lot of different uh, schools and I find that kids that are growing their own food have a tendency to eat their own food. And they're eating things they've never eaten before, which is kind of exciting. When you think about it, um, you know, they're not big lettuce eaters, they're not big greens eaters. Now we're finding kids that are growing food at five and six years old are going, can I eat this, mommy? Can I have some more salad? Can I have some more lettuce? Hey, I want more cucumbers. That's exciting. Hey, Joe. Aaron, what's happening, man? How How's it doing? going? What do you think of your new functional space? I love it. It is an absolute amazing transformation. I mean, the flooring is awesome. The wall organization system, completely fantastic. I mean, you guys are, you're magicians. Took your storage shed and turned it into something that uh, you actually want to be in now. There are now places for everything. We've got all of our sporting goods stuff, my boosted board, all our electric bikes are hanging out, our beach cruisers, we got space for tools for you know fixing stuff, more sporting goods stuff, we got our camping stuff. I mean it's just there's now a place for everything. It's off the floor. It took the old stained damaged concrete 
and now it looks like a work of art. It's decorative, yet functional. It's a durable coating that's gonna last for years. Now, it's clean enough that you could actually work out in here. You could put your hands on the floor and actually wanna do a push-up versus putting it into an oil spill and uh, having to wash your hands. What I love about this vertical organization system is that we can take our camping gear, it's really customizable with these little attachments, change positioning. Another cool thing is how strong it is. I know you guys took a couple steps to make sure that things didn't fall off the wall. We got these beach cruiser bikes, they're like 50 pounds each, I mean they're not light, and we hung those things up, they're not moving. Yeah, what we did is we fastened the system to studs and installed a construction adhesive behind the paneling, uh, which gives you a superior strength. From an install standpoint, you can physically hang off the hooks with your body weight if you wanted to. So we might be able to get a workout in here. You could probably do pull-ups off of those. The front landscaping is in desperate need of a little help. She calls it wompy jawed. It's more than a little help, it needs a complete overall. What does wompy jawed even mean? crooked, messed up. Well, in that case, the goal is to make it less wompy job. So what we're looking to do is, is add in new shrubbery that can soften up the tall corners of the home. We're looking to take out the front entrance portion of the landscaping. We just feel that it's a little too much of the landscaping. We had some overgrown trees that needed removal. And uh, we're looking to take out what's old and, and not looking so great for the home. The structure of the house and the mature trees look fantastic, but we want to bring that next tier down of landscaping to make the home a little more welcoming, to make you want to come to the front door. A lot of times people forget that you know, your landscaping is part of the earth, and this is your portion in front of your home. Rocks come from the quarries and they tumble them and they get the different shapes. Uh, they try to select the different colors so we have options. And those are certainly th products that I think benefit our little portion of the earth that's in front of our home. We've got the permits for the solar installation. Yes, 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 solar, solar. Mark, thanks for coming by. No problem at all. Appreciate it. One of the things about a healthy lifestyle is minimizing stress. So the last thing that I want to do at the end of a long day is take care of the lawn, fertilize the lawn, make sure there's not a lot of weeds in the lawn. However, I do want the lawn to look nice. What organic methods do you guys use to keep the lawn looking nice? Well, one of the best organic methods that we use to keep the lawn looking nice would be an aeration and an overseeding. Aeration is a process that we use where basically we run a machine across your lawn we're pulling cores of soil out of your lawn. The cores are gonna just let their, we're gonna let them lay on the lawn and kind of decompose, kind of go work its way back into the soil. When the holes are there from the cores that we pull out, what we do is we go back over the lawn, we overseed, we basically just are spreading seed over top of it. That seed is gonna go into the holes. It's also gonna mix in with some of the cores that you have on the lawn. And how is that a more organic way of controlling weeds? Well, because once again, it helps you, it helps the lawn thicken itself up. Um, basically, it's going to kind of keep the weeds from even getting, having a chance to really get started. It's an organic way to give you a nice, healthy, beautiful lawn. Good news, we're approved. We've got the permits for the solar installation. Yes, 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 solar, solar going up on a ladder on the roof? Absolutely not. I'm going to leave that up to the professionals. Phew! How does this system save us money? Typically the most expensive piece of your electric bill is really your heating and cooling system. When this system is running, the solar panels up on the roof will be generating energy from the sun. Basically you have your condensing unit on the outside and then you have three, four, five panels up on the roof to help offset some of those initial costs.
We're playing a little trick on Nick. He is coming to our house tomorrow for what he thinks is a surprise party for one of our kids. Right. But in actuality, it's a surprise for him. For him. And Monica's got all of his family coming over from out of town. His mom's going to be there. It'd be a pretty big deal. His mom, his brother, his extended family, they are going to just be shocked. They haven't seen him in a while. Nick's lost over 90 pounds of body fat. That's worthy of a celebration. So were you surprised? I was really surprised, yes. I can't believe all these people were here for me and you know, such an amazing opportunity. To see him now, I kind of see that young college guy again. I mean, we just went shopping the other day and he was so excited just to be able to buy smaller jeans. So we're seven months in, down 90 pounds. Feeling great, still have my goal, my end goal in line. A lot of support around me. I can see the finish line or I can see the goal, I should say, it's not a finish. Joe and Sharon have done an amazing job. I want to use the opportunity to sing from the mountaintops, you know, how impactful they've been in, in my journey and, and my efforts. Make sure that people know that I didn't do this by myself. Without Joe and Sharon, it would have been a lot harder. Coming here feels like a mini vacation. It does. I feel like we can walk out here, put on the fire, sit out here. It's like date night, honey. <laughs> it's date night. We're dating again. And we don't even have to leave our house, which is convenient with two little ones. Right. We have expanded our living space. We have a resort at our home. This experience has transformed our home and our health. I love it. Uh, there's always a healthy way of always pruning. So more like Mr. Miyagi, bonsai <laughs> tree style. Absolutely, or Edward scissors, ha scissor hands. So the hand pruner, more Mr. Miyagi, bonsai tree style versus Ab gas-powered electric. So more like hand pruner, Mr. Miyagi, karate kid style. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> that's Dutch. <laughs> What would you say the specific problems are with this property? It sucks. <laughs> Josh is a tree doctor, which is an arborist, right? It is uh, definitely an arborist. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I want to show you about this tree here, and that's this limb right here. <laughs> here are you ready for the homebody challenge? We're looking for folks who have at least 10 pounds of body fat to lose because if you want to be a better parent, a better spouse, or a better boss, you must take care of yourself first. Now we're combining our talents to change the life of one lucky family. It's a one-two punch. We'll give you the step-by-step -step blueprint to drop body fat, add muscle, and get healthy. And our team of experts transform one area of your house to jumpstart your healthy habits for life. If you have at least 10 pounds of body fat to lose and you have the guts and determination to change your life forever, all you have to do is apply right now. Homebodychallenge.com. That's homebodychallenge.com.